All right. For any team to achieve success, they must have a few core principles, such as dedication, motivation, a structured hierarchy of control, teamwork, and brotherhood among the members. They have been competing in the First Tech Challenge, the EH First Tech Challenge, for over eight years. The team includes a range of members with different skills sets, and each member's involvement goes beyond the call of duty. We welcome to Sunrise the Jamaica College Robotics Team. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Thank you for having us. And good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. All right, so we're going to start with you. Uh, speaking of the hierarchy of control, we're starting at the top of the hierarchy this yes. morning. Talk to us about the success of the robotics team at Jamaica College to begin with, and then the, the recent developments. All right, so we have been doing this. This is our 10th anniversary. Yes, we started okay. in 2009. Um, our affiliates, the old boys of New York, they registered us to compete in New York for the first tech challenge. Right. So we have been doing that since. Um, in the club, we have different roles ranging from, you know, the president, we have the chief engineer, chief programmer, we have marketers, we have technical writers, we have graphic designers, we have photographers. So it's a, a rounded club for persons who want to just tap into the STEM field and right. enjoy it. And the STEM field being science, technology, engineering, engineering mathematics. and mathematics. Yes. Now, um, the, 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 the JC ambassador to my left just happens <laughs> to be also called or also named Mikhail Phillips, not to be confused with another Mikhail Phillips yeah. that also went to Jamaica <laughs> College. Morning, Mikhail. Um, Morning. Talk to us about why you joined the robotics team. Um, so I joined robotics last year. And um, I joined because I had this general interest in programming and engineering and just wanted to learn as much as was humanly possible. Right. So um, when I joined, I began as a programmer. But I found out that that wasn't really my niche. So I began working in technical writing and marketing. Yes. And I found my place was really there. So to call and get sponsorships and assist where I could in getting the team out there to impact the other schools as much as we could, that was really where I flourished as a member. Yes. All right. Now, um, we have Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony and Johans. And Johans. And what are they going to be demonstrating? All right. So each year, we have to build a robot specific to the game plan. Right. So they're demonstrating the plan this year, which is to take up minerals and stack them on a tree, just like Legos. Yes. So the robot should be able to do that. So the yellow blocks uh -huh. will represent the minerals. Yes. And they're going to stack them on the, the blue tray yes. over there. So Mark Anthony and Johans are the controllers. Over to you, gentlemen. Okay. So um, our robot is designed to, using a car and all the system, yes. um, pick up the blocks and pretty much just stack them over on the, the, system, on the tray. On the tray. Yeah. Proceed. Oh. Yeah. And by the way, how many members of the club and from which, which grades? Oh, it's a huge club. We currently have over 40 members. Over 40. And we go from first form to upper six. It's very right. inclusive. We have a senior team and a junior team. A senior team and a junior, and a junior team. team. And these are members of your senior team? Yes. Or is this a mixed It's a mixed representation. All right. So on a weekly basis, because you, you would have to prepare you know, tremendous preparation to yes. go to international competition. So on a weekly basis, what happens? Um, it depends on the section we're focusing on. So we have different, we have meeting days for upper school, lower school, and we also have team time. Right. So we structure our meetings based on engineering, whether mm -hmm. it be programming, technical writing, outreach. Yes. Right. And we spend a lot of our time going out to schools in Jamaica now because with the competition being held locally, yes. we have a lot of Jamaican schools entering and we seek to share knowledge as best as possible. So now it's taking up the minerals, right? And it's going to stack them on the tray. It's loosely based off Star Wars, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And as a, as a sci-fi buff, <laughs> I, I know exactly what in Star Wars. Now the concept when we think of robotics, a lot of people think of machines that mimic humans. Um, that, any thought of creating anything that even begins to look? Humanoid that you know for one of your competitions, Mikhail. Um, we thought about it, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> but um, we haven't begun to develop something like that just right. yet. But yeah. the everything we build mimics the motions of a human. Right. So or or the activities that activities that are human, human development require. So yeah. like the Christ and robot mimics the hand clamping down on the block before we lift it and put it down. Right. Of course, we can't mimic every single range of movement, so we don't have like an elbow on the butt. Yeah. But 
<laughs> coming soon, eventually. <laughs> coming soon to a school near you. Yes. All right. Now, um, Mark Anthony is doing some adjustments. We've seen one block of minerals go over already. Um, in terms of whether this is a distraction from focus on core academics or an enhancement to doing well in core academics, which one is it? And it enhances academics. And yeah. I have seen the proof of that. We're talking about problem-solving skills. We're talking about critical thinking skills. We're talking about collaboration. A lot of our past members are overseas on scholarships as a result of robotics. Of their participation yeah. So in we the have companies club. locally and internationally who have come on to sponsor them to, to achieve their dreams. Also, we have persons at Howard. We have at Florida Tech. We have persons in Missouri. We have in Canada. Yes. We have all over based on their involvement with robotics here. Right. Now, in, in, in terms of these companies that come on board to sponsor early, yes. are their relationships being built for recruitment once the academic studies are concluded for them to be employed in these companies? Yes, and a lot of them have internship programs. Yes, internship that, programs. Um, they take on the boys for, um, right. whether it be internship or community service or reading programs or feeding programs, or we seek to get the boys involved in mm -hmm. those. Right. So the companies, they earmark them for future references. Absolutely. Yes. Any regrets, Mikhail? What, what, but before that, when did you join? What form were you in? When I joined, I had been in lower six. Lower six. Lower six. Oh, so you, were, you joined recently. I joined fairly recently. Yes. Yes. You're, you're a newbie. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, no, in terms of, because you said you've seen the difference in, in, in the academic performance. Yes. Any of your members have been in the, in the club from first form all the way through? Yes, we have a couple. They're not here now, but one of our Daniel Palmer, he's in lower six. He has been in the club from about second, third form. Right. One of our key players. He's a key driver. Yes. But he was unable to be here today because of other right. problems. No, um, we would have seen the intervention of Mark Anthony to do some adjust as uh, some adjustments and yes. no by the way, does the robot have a name? Not as yet. I think you should call it. It, it does. What fritters? Fritters. Oh, her? oh fritters. They love food. So we have pancake, waffles. we have waffles in previous years. So this year is fritters. Fritters. <laughs> um, fritters. Yes. This, this, this thing here is called fritters. Yes. I won't have any for breakfast <laughs> when this program. <laughs> yeah. No, um, when is it the next competition? All right, so locally we compete February 28th. 27, 28. 27, 28. 27, 28. Yes. Which other schools are you competing with? Many. We have a lot in the corporate area and from rural Jamaica as well. We have we have York Castle yeah, Monroe. York Castle Monroe. Um, um, Calabar Casey. Viertek. Andrews. Eltham Andrews. Holy Showers. As in your sister's school? Yes. St. Andrew High School for, for girls, girls has a robotic. They do. I, I'm being told by somebody in the control room to pronounce <laughs> the school's name. St. Andrew. St. Andrew High School for Girls. Right, what you said. A, yeah. They have a robotics team. Yes. They do. Yes. They do. Okay. So we had a. Uh, so we are, we are working with them to ensure that we get them to a level. Oh. A nice readiness level to compete. A tag team and brothers. Yes, so it's, it's kind of similar. No, as in all the teams, everybody. it's not just we have been around to all the schools yeah. trying to, you know, share the knowledge because we have to impact Jamaica in a. In a Necessary way, right? Yes. I, I, no, it's we're going to be wrapping. It's time for a second look at traffic, but all the best. Congratulations on ten years of success. Thank you. Thank you. And viewers, we had a understanding at the start. These gentlemen will return to Jamaica College and advise the rest An of the school population. That St. George's College okay. intends to oh reclaim my. our Manning Cup. Okay. Right, ah. We're coming back for our belongings this year. <laughs> All the best with that. Thank you very much, gentlemen. <laughs> it was an honor to have you on.